If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here with a bit of a short story for you. As I promised in the last video, I'd tell you about a story involving these puppies, these babies. First, for those of you that didn't see that, or that don't know what this is, this is not a plains. This is actually under a lot of glare. This is a forest. This is a basic forest. Now, it may not look the part, but this is a German 3rd edition, so revised, but it's for in black border, uh, forest. You'll note that the name is Wad, which is German for forest, and there we go, in the mechanical text, the rules text, you'll see the green mana symbol there. Well, that's because it generates green mana because it's a forest. This is a misprint, this is a, maybe not my favorite misprint that I have, but it's certainly the most plentiful. I have three of them. I used to have nine, and uh, one of them I gave to my ex. Who knows where that is now? Five of them I gave to my brother-in-law, who's the brother of my ex, when I gave him my uh, blouses deck. It's supposed to be just an easy deck for him to be able to play, and I don't know if I'll ever see those again. So, yeah, these are it. These are it for now. Hopefully they'll get some more at some point, but for right now, this is it. But this is uh, an interesting little card beyond just its uh, sentimentality to me. It is a misprint, and as you probably know, you can play misprints in tournaments. Now, there are some caveats to that, potentially. Uh, with this particular one, one thing that some people would do, some scumbags, frankly, would do, is they would take the German forest with this misprint, this art, and say the Italian or the French planes with the same art, and use those to trick the opponent. You know, oh wait, these are my forests, see? It even says so on the card. Okay, that that's kind of the technical term is it's a dick move. You don't do that. But if you're not trying to pull some shenanigans like that, this is, you know, a fine card to play. Uh, and I actually brought it to one of my, uh, to a tournament that I attended. It was a PPTQ, and my first round opponent decided he wanted to try to get a free, best case scenario, you know, not trying to talk too poorly about him. You know what? I'm, I'm going to call him out. I'm going to call him out. You, it is Chris O'Neill. And as I say that, I remember that I know at least three people named Chris O'Neill who play magic, and there are at least two different spellings amongst them for O'Neill. Uh, this is not the judge that's out in, like, California, I think. Uh, no, this is the... If the person you know named Chris O'Neill smiles ever when they're playing a game, it's not this guy. Different guy. Uh, my first round opponent, Chris O'Neill, he... You know, I'm, I'm playing against him, so I'm on Infect and I have my two basic forests in the list as VUDs. And he's on Tron, Green Red Tron. So I'm on the play, Taxian Probe. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to play the T1 Glistener Elf or not. And lo and behold, I see it's Tron. He has Pyroclasm, but that's okay. That No other... It's Green Red Tron, by the way. No other removal on that front. So draw my card. Don't even remember what it was. I don't know, I don't remember it. And then jam the turn one Glistener Elf. But before, well, okay, I, I say jam the turn one Glistener Elf. It's play the forest and play the T1 Glistener Elf. And then I pick up, I, so I did jam it. And then as I'm passing the turn, I say, uh, just to let you know, and then I pick up the forest. Uh, this is, you know, because I, I, I just did it immediately because he doesn't have counter spells, I know that. This is a forest, I tell him, you know, and I show it to him. And he looks at it for a moment, he looks at it for a few seconds. And he calls judge, and, and the judge comes over, one of the judges comes over, and he takes a look at it, and I, you know, judge says, what's the matter? And I say, you know, I'm not sure. And he says, this is a, not a legal card. Just, this is not a legal card. Which is broad enough that I'm like, what are you trying to say? Are you, you know, but given that it's a misprint, 
you know, we all we understand what he means. And the judge looks at it, and I'm explaining to the judge, so this is a misprint. This is, I explain what I explained to all of you. You know, German 3rd edition, I even called it 3rd edition. Um, you see it's called Vod, which is forest. You look at the text, it has the green mana symbol, you know, and I'm playing it to show it off. I, that's that's why you play misprints like these, right? To show them off, you know. This is sentimental to me, or hey, this is cool, or whatever the case may be. And when he gives it back to him, when he, or not to him, when he gives the forest back to me and he looks over to Chris, the judge, I'm going to try to get the quote, like, exactly, at the very least it was something to this effect, uh, don't call me over unless it's something serious. And I'm just like, damn, bitch. <laughs> Damn, son. Oh my goodness. It was... I keep looking down at these. These hold some fond memories to me, as you can imagine. And then I... because... I don't know. Maybe I'm just reading way too much into it. The guy was a jerk to me throughout the rest of the event. The only other time I've seen him, he was a jerk, so... Maybe I'm, I'm assuming worse intent based on that trend. Um, but... Karma was not on his side, so I kill him on turn three. Um, if you've seen my videos on the channel, you know I don't usually go for you know turn two or turn three kills with infect, unless I just absolutely have to, or I already have the information. And thanks to Getaxian Probe, yeah, I did. So it's you know play the t the Glistener Elf. He plays a land, I uh, star or what whatever chromatic something or other is his one drop. Um, and then I play swing with a, like a Might of Old Krosa. I don't know. I swung with something that dealt, dealt four damage. May have been Groundswell or Vine. No, not Vines. That's two mana for the plus four plus four. He Pyroclasms, Mutagenic Growth. And he's just, show me you've got it. Showed it. Okay. And then we went to game two. And then game two, I also killed him on turn three. And afterwards, he's just like, that's the Infect match. So, you know. I, I felt kind of... If he's trying to get me disqualified for playing a misprint, honestly, that I kind of appreciated that I was able to turn that around on him and be like, no, are you trying to get me to lose? You lose. All right. Misprints. Misprints. Oh. Yeah, okay, the more I think about that story, maybe it was, it was much cooler in the moment, perhaps, because I got to see the reaction on his face. I got to see the reaction on the judge's face. Oh, that was so cool. All right. I wish you had gotten the chance to see it. Um, Shoutouts to you, Chris, for being a scrub. A scrub lord. And I will see you later, magic community. Take care. Bye-bye. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, noob. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Alright. I think I'm done now. Take care.